Yeah, hi Mary, thank you for being with us today. Um, perhaps to start, you can introduce yourself and explain a little bit more about your job. Hi Philippa, pleasure to, to be with you today. Um, so my name is Mary Quaney and I'm the Group uh, Chief Executive of Mainstream Renewable Power. Um, Mainstream is a pure play renewable energy developer with a global footprint. Um, our focus is on growth markets or, or emerging markets for renewable energy. So our main geographical footprint is across Latin America, Africa, Asia. We're an Irish founded company headquartered here in Dublin, Ireland, and um, with a, a very firm vision and mission that we've had from day one, which is to lead the transition to renewable energy. And um, you also seem, I mean, there's obviously the angle of sustainability in terms of the projects, but you all seem, seem very focused on your staff. If I, if I look at your website, you talk about um, making sure that you're a great place to work and they have group, group ethics and, and commitments. Um, I know that there's a certain amount of concern among trade unions, especially with smaller renewable companies, that we talk a lot about green jobs, but green jobs are not necessarily de facto good jobs. And, and again, perhaps you could explain why this is of, of such importance to you and how you make sure that your workforce is also engaged in, in not just creating renewable infrastructure, but also being part of more of a sustainable story. Yeah, like, you know, certainly there's no you know, there are no guarantees that that a green company is 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 a good company. Um, you know, from from mainstream's perspective and from our company's perspective, like we've always been really focused on employee engagement and having a really strong, positive culture where you know people work well together, that they enjoy what they do. Um, we're very fortunate that that um, you know we we passionately believe in what we do. You know, so at the core of 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 my colleagues right across the board, there's that real just fundamental belief in in that we're 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 doing the right thing and that it's very important um, mission and 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 focus for us. Um, but you know, from 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 my perspective, you know, ensuring that our employees are are engaged, that they're committed, that they are well looked after. Again, it's back to our our values. And how you know we we live the values of 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 doing the right thing and doing it in the right way, and that's really deeply embedded in the organisation and goes right back to um, the initial days from when we were founded, and and we've continued that right throughout as we have grown and we have expanded obviously our global footprint over the years. We 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 very much live the 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 values. It's not just you know logos on a on a on a wall. Um, and that's a very core part of, of what it is that we do. And, you know, it means that, um, that you know, our employees are, are, are engaged. Um, we measure that very carefully. You know, we, we run annual surveys. We participate in the Great Place to Work, as, as you have mentioned. And getting that feedback from our colleagues and, and enables us to focus on areas where we can improve and where we can do better. And it's very much a, a, a two-way engagement. Um, we're, we're doing this interview because um, it's International Women's Day. Um, I wanted to ask how relevant you feel that is in today's world as a, as a woman CEO, CEO, or whether we need to shift the focus slightly and look a bit more at diversity more generally rather than just looking at women. Um, unfortunately, I think it is still relevant um, to be to be focused on on gender balance because we still have quite a way to go as an industry. Um, you know, across the the global wind sector, the global renewable sector, and back to the the, the traditional energy sector where where the imbalance just just hasn't been right. So, for instance, um, women represent around twenty two percent of the global traditional energy industry. Um, in the global wind uh, sector, that goes up to about, uh, that's in around the same level at about 21%. And then the global renewable energy workforce, it goes up to about 32%. So, you know, as, a, as, a, as an industry and as a sector, we still have quite a long way to go. Um, IRENA estimates that the number of jobs in renewables could increase from around 10 million in 2017 to around 30 million in 2050. So there needs to be the right balance in terms of that increasing workforce. And the renewable energy industry has a really important role to play. Um, we are an attractive industry for, you know, for, for, for people to join. And there's a lot of growth and, and potential quite clearly in the sector. So, you know, so the balance definitely has to be has to be right. But also, I fully agree that 
diversity is is crucially important and 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 it's not just about uh, gender diversity and in fact um in mainstream our focus is 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 this year is more on inclusivity and diversity across all levels um we you know we still have our our, our gender targets and and they have uh, worked very well over the last number of years and we've seen a lot of positive improvements and we'll continue to to build on that but um, diversity is just crucially important. And for me, it's that, you know, diversity brings different perspectives. It makes for better teams. It, 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 it brings better company performance and, 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 you know, and a greater level of input and, and challenge and better decision making. So um, certainly the, the, the shifting focus, um, I, 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 you know, I see into, into diversity and and inclusivity is is really important. And in terms of the gender targets that you have within mainstream, could you explain how they work? Yeah, so we focus across um, three particular areas. So the 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 percentage of females in senior management. Um, we focus at the at the intake level, at our hiring level, the percentage of new female hires. And then a particular area of focus for us is on the number of um, female hires working in departments which have up until now and, and still are to a certain extent been more male dominated so you know our approach is is, is quite targeted across those three areas um, so for instance the the number of females in senior management um, we're now at about just over 30 percent our aim is to get to to 40 percent to 45 percent um, our percentages of new female hires, we um, are at about 40% and we want to get up to, to, to 50%. And particularly the, the pockets of some of our teams that have been male dominated, construction is an obvious one. Um, we have you know, targeted programs to, to increase and then support the, the female hires across those sectors. And in terms of how you manage those um, targets, are they based? Is it based on positive discrimination, or is it just based on more aware, awareness raising? How does it actually work in practice? We have run programs on DNI training for all of our staff at at all levels. Um, we have unconscious bias videos, you know, whereby um, it, it's like a, a, a webinar training type program to raise awareness of the, the, the types of unconscious, unconscious bias and obviously unconscious, you know, one's not even realizing that, that, that one has that bias. We have um, put a lot of effort into our recruitment to ensure that we have the right balance of um, interviewers being, a, you know, a balance of, of male and of female. Um, and then, you know, we have worked a lot with our, our, our local teams in terms of, you know, we've got regional committees, focus groups that come up with, with suggestions. Um, we've done a lot of work as well in recent years in terms of um, having a, a more flexible working policy and obviously with the impact of, of COVID and, and remote working, that's, you know, come on leaps and bounds over the last mm -hmm. 12 months. Um, and we have we have been um, a we have been a founding sponsor of the GWEC Women in Wind program, and I was a mentor on that in the the first year. It's now in its third year um, of our participation in the program. And what we have done over the last twelve months or so is that we have um, sought to 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 bring that program more in house as well as as, as still with GWEC. So. We have um, specific, like you know, internal mentoring opportunities. We do a lot of, um, you know, talking about the the experiences and challenges of our our female colleagues right across the business, and particularly those in different sectors and and those say, you know, working in more male dominated teams. So it's to encourage that more open dialogue for all of our colleagues. Like you know, these programs are. Are, are, are not just focused on, on women because, you know, our male colleagues are obviously, you know, a big part of that um, understanding and learning and, and, and uh, facilitating improvements and, and a, an open, a more open working environment that is attractive to, to, to you know, to everyone, regardless of their, their gender, their background. Uh, thank you very much for speaking to us today, Mary. It was really nice to speak to you. It was super interesting and uh, good luck with everything. Thank you. Super. Thank you so much, Philip, and thanks for the opportunity. I look forward to speaking again soon.